In a secluded mountain monastery, nestled amidst towering pines and serene waterfalls, lived a group of monks dedicated to the pursuit of enlightenment. This place, removed from the distractions of the world, was a haven for those seeking the truth. Here, they followed a simple routine of meditation, chores, and study, guided by the teachings of the ancient masters. One day, a novice arrived at the gates of the monastery. He had traveled far, driven by an insatiable thirst for wisdom. The abbot welcomed him and offered a place among the brothers. The novice quickly became known for his dedication, spending long hours in meditation and absorbing every teaching, yet, despite his efforts, he felt something was missing. The more he meditated, the more he realized that his mind was restless, clouded by desires and fears. He sought the counsel of the abbot, who listened patiently and then said, to find peace, you must first let go of yourself. To transform, you must disappear. 1. The teaching of emptiness, the novice pondered the abbot's words. What did it mean to let go of oneself? How could one disappear and still exist? He decided to delve deeper into the teachings of the Buddha, seeking answers in the sutras and the wisdom of the elders, he came across the Heart Sutra, a fundamental text in Mahayana Buddhism, which spoke of emptiness. Form is emptiness, and emptiness is form. It declared. This perplexing statement became his focus. He meditated on it, seeking to understand the nature of existence and non-existence. One evening, while meditating by a tranquil pond, he observed the reflection of the moon on the water's surface. The reflection was clear and bright, yet when he touched the water, it shattered into ripples. The moon itself, however, remained unchanged in the sky. In this moment, he realized that his sense of self was like the reflection, an illusion created by the mind. To see his true nature, he had to look beyond this illusion. 2. The path of compassion, understanding emptiness was only the first step. The novice realized that letting go of the self also meant embracing others. The Buddha taught that compassion was essential for enlightenment. He began to practice compassion in his daily life, helping his fellow monks and the villagers who came to the monastery for aid. One day, a weary traveler arrived at the monastery, seeking refuge. The novice welcomed him, offering food and a place to rest. The traveler shared stories of his journey, the hardships he faced, and the people he met. Through these stories, the novice saw the interconnectedness of all beings. He understood that compassion was not just an act, but a way of dissolving the boundaries between self and others. As he practiced compassion, he noticed a change within himself. The more he gave to others, the less he thought about his own desires and fears. He felt a sense of unity with the world around him, as if the boundaries of his self were slowly dissolving. 3. The dance of nature, the seasons changed, and with them, the novice's understanding deepened. He observed the cycles of nature, the blooming of flowers in spring, the ripening of fruits in summer, the falling of leaves in autumn, and the stillness of winter. Each season flowed into the next without resistance, a dance of creation and dissolution, one autumn day. As he walked through the forest, he watched a leaf detach from a tree and float gently to the ground. The leaf, once vibrant and green, had turned a brilliant shade of red before its final descent. In its falling, he saw a reflection of his own journey. Just as the leaf let go of the tree, he needed to let go of his attachments to find true freedom. He began to practice a form of meditation known as walking meditation, where he moved through the forest, mindful of each step, each breath. 
He imagined himself as a leaf, part of the great cycle of nature, constantly changing yet always a part of the whole. 4. The silence of the mind, as his understanding grew, the novice faced his greatest challenge, the silence of the mind. He found that while his actions were becoming more aligned with his understanding, his mind still clung to thoughts and distractions. He decided to undertake a period of intense solitary retreat in a small hermitage on the mountainside, in the stillness of the hermitage, he confronted the turbulence of his mind. Each thought, each emotion, rose and fell like waves on the ocean. At first, he struggled, fighting to still the waves. But then he remembered the lesson of the leaf, letting go. He stopped resisting and allowed his thoughts to come and go, observing them without attachment. Days turned into weeks, and a profound silence began to envelop him. In this silence, he experienced moments of clarity, where his sense of self seemed to vanish, leaving only pure awareness. He realized that the mind, like a clear pond, could reflect the truth only when it was still, at five, the illumination of insight, after his retreat, the novice returned to the monastery, transformed. His fellow monks noticed a change in him, a calmness, a presence that radiated peace. He shared his insights with them, not as teachings, but as lived experiences. One night, during a full moon meditation, he had a profound insight. He saw that his journey was not just about his own transformation, but about becoming a vessel for the truth. The moonlight, he realized, was like the wisdom of the Buddha, illuminating everything it touched without discrimination. He understood that his role was to reflect this light, to be a mirror for the wisdom and compassion he had received. 6. The Disappearance of the Self with this realization, the novice felt a deep sense of completion. He had come to the monastery seeking wisdom, and he had found it not in books or teachings, but in the very fabric of existence. He had learned to disappear, not in the sense of vanishing, but in the sense of dissolving the boundaries of his self, he continued to live in the monastery, but his presence was different. He was like the leaf, part of the tree yet distinct, always ready to let go when the time came. He found joy in the simple tasks of daily life, in the company of his fellow monks, and in the quiet moments of solitude. 7. The transformation, years passed, and the novice. Now an elder, became a guide for others. He shared his journey, not as a path to follow, but as a story to inspire. He taught that to disappear was to transform, to become part of the greater whole. His presence became a living testament to the truth he had discovered. One spring, as the cherry blossoms bloomed, he felt a deep sense of peace. He knew his time was nearing an end. He gathered the monks and shared his final teaching, the leaf falls, but it does not die. It becomes part of the earth, nourishing the tree from which it came. So too do we transform, becoming part of the eternal cycle of life, with these words, he entered his final meditation. As the sun set, he breathed his last breath. And his spirit became one with the infinite. The monks, though saddened by his passing, felt a profound sense of peace. They had witnessed the true meaning of transformation and disappearance, the elders' teachings lived on in the hearts of the monks and the villagers. His story was passed down through generations, a beacon of wisdom and compassion. The monastery flourished, a place of refuge and enlightenment, where the lessons of the leaf continued to inspire seekers of the truth, in the forest, the trees continued their dance of creation and dissolution, the leaves falling and returning to the earth. And in the stillness of the pond, the moon's reflection shone bright, a reminder of the eternal light that guides us all. 
Thus, the story of the novice, the leaf, and the moon became a timeless tale of transformation, a journey of disappearing to find oneself, and of becoming one with the infinite. Thanks for watching. Hope enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Just click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. See you in the next video.